there's a lot of people out there that share the love for the outdoors and the, and the RV lifestyle that I've had since I was a kid that was instilled in me. It's just an awesome way of living. The people are so incredible. It doesn't matter what background. It seems to be one place where everybody gather around a campfire and get together. There's a place. It's no place in particular. Then again, it's everywhere. Where the people live free, free to explore, to be themselves, and to experience the camaraderie of their kindred spirit. Theirs is a life with no limitations, a lifestyle open to everyone. It's a good life. It's your RV life. What is your RV life? Your RV life is really, well, it's the story of America as told by those who travel her roads. A wise man once said, life is not about the destination, but the journey. To some, those are just words. To us, they're life's mantra. An invitation to celebrate the pioneer spirit when you get out and, and get in this great country and you get out of the city, uh, you, you, it, it instills something in you. It brings a spirit that's inside of you alive. Uh, I believe the same spirit that took people from the East Coast across unknown territory to make it to the West Coast, that's, that spirit is still alive. This story is told through the perspective of two separate lenses. One is the team at Blue Moon Mobile RV. The Blue Moon, uh, our company here in Carrollton, we're small, uh, but we carry a big stick. We carry a lot of wallop. Uh, we've got a nationwide reputation, and, and I give a lot of that credit to my staff. Blue Moon RV really is in a unique position. There's nothing they cannot do, and their list of clientele goes from the famous to the mega wealthy to the just the average uh, pop-up camper. What do you think about the Blue Moon guys? I think they're excellent. I think they're outstanding. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what we need. They're awesome. I, I, love, I love Blue Moon. Blue Moon is awesome. The second is that of the RVers themselves, the people connected with Blue Moon, folks who have chosen to live a mobile lifestyle. We shadow them, see how they live, how they use their RV, and we take the audience along for the ride. 99.99% .99 of our customers are incredible people. They've all got incredible stories. That spirit of discovery, wanting to, to see, uh, you know, and experience something real uh, in their RV, to, to see what this great country really is and to meet the people. And, and uh, there's something about it, uh, getting out there and, and seeing these great things, the deserts, the canyons, you know, the mighty redwoods. It does something to you. The essence of great storytelling, it relies on the ability to create interesting characters. And the people who are at Blue Moon Mobile RV and their customers and the interesting people we've met on the road are beyond great characters. They are the fabric of America. They say we're all connected by six degrees of separation. In our world, there's only two degrees. 
The first is a passion, a passion for America and the lifestyle that leads to her open roads. The second is a connection to a community, one made up of unique characters, each with fascinating stories, all joined together by a common thread, a little old garage in the North Texas suburb of Carrollton. So many different people, and so many different backgrounds. That are, that is one of the biggest things that keeps me in this business. I mean, we meet so many crazy people. From a guy pushing submarines around the world wearing a kilt, to, you know, to a 22-year-old kid racing trucks since he was five years old, wow. and his dad before him. The unique nature of those involved in the RV lifestyle varies, much like the makeup of the people at Blue Moon Mobile RV. I knew Rodney before he started Blue Men, and I've been working for him for almost 15 years now. He's smart, focused, driven, and all over the place. So. He's focused and all over the place. If you can be focused and all over the place, you would be Rodney. She calls me her little Jack Russell Terrier, mm -hmm. something shiny. <laughs> He's got a phenomenal story. I mean, he literally started with a toolbox and a pickup truck. Rodney is probably the warmest person I know. Uh, he loves to give. He is awesome with my mom. He is like my dad. I just want him around a lot. Eric is uh, special. He has Asperger's. Eric's awesome. He's, uh, he's a smart kid. He's funny, he's loving, and we like having him around. Eric has got the sweetest heart of many people I know. I always say that somehow I got lucky enough to find two men who have just absolutely pure hearts that would not hurt a fly intentionally. I adore my mom. Uh, Abby's great. I mean, hopefully uh, if all goes well, she'll be stepmother-in-law, right? <laughs> You've been the missing half of me oh. my whole life. You're the missing half of me. He's all the things I thought I wanted and all the things I didn't know I needed. Ooh, that's cool. Did you steal that from somebody? No, I just came, came up with your I, own? Just now. I don't know. I like her a lot, and I'm, hopefully she'll hang around if uh, we don't run her off. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff scared the shit out of me when I first started. He, uh, what, uh, uh, tell you about Jeff. I'd have to say I've probably tested Jeff's patience the most. You're kidding me, right? Yeah. Jeff, being Rodney's brother, of course, those two get into it more often than anybody else. Sweet Mother Mary Jesus, you want me to go all the way back to Dallas? Yeah. Sweet Mary Mother Jesus. Sweet Mother Mary Jesus. Sweet Mother Mary Jesus, if it ain't one damn thing, it's another around here. I like how he starts, it'll be like, what, what, what? You gotta be fertilizing me. God, you've got to be fertilizing me, right? Uh, some of the other ones I probably can't say on camera, but that would probably take the TV rating off the scale. <laughs> that goes without saying. That can be a hoot. <laughs> that really can be. <laughs> All right, let's get this damn show on the road. Jeez, who knows? Oh, yeehaw. Funsy time. So much funsies. Yeehaw, let's go. Uh, that's just how he is, you know? He just speaks his mind and, you know, just tells you what he's thinking. And, and it just cracks me up every time. <laughs> Sometimes, I, you know, it's, it's like, okay, uh, hello, hello. <laughs> So the next time you're on one of America's highways and you spot a recreational vehicle, just know two things. One, 
they're probably headed to a better destination than you are. And second, they'd welcome you in a heartbeat to come along for the ride.